What's going on guys? I'm going to do this little narrative about the scuba diving I did in Okinawa, Japan. There's the crew we went diving with. Um, this was probably one of the best dives I've ever done as far as animals seen. And a really cool landscape. Those are huge rocks with corals. Hey, how's it going? John here doing some scuba diving. This is a cool flounder fish. Now look, he's trying to camouflage in with the rocks. But once he notices that we see him, watch him change color. And then he goes to dark blue. I don't think it really comes out, but like there was little scales that were almost neon blue looking. He was pretty awesome. And I had that flashlight, but I shined it a couple times. I didn't really need it. Um, these are some cool yellow blue fish. They were pretty shy of the camera, so I didn't really keep a lot of the fish images that I got. Um, some clownfish. This is my first time ever seeing, seeing clownfish. I love clownfish. They look so cool. And uh, they're a little shy. They're trying to hide their eggs probably, so don't want to bother them too much. Um, I got another good image of clownfish later. Um, this was a hermit crab. I couldn't quite get low enough to get him. Um, I got a picture of him on my Instagram. John Explorers 888 if you want to go see it. Now, this is the main reason we went. There's turtles everywhere. And I'm like swimming up to this guy trying to get as close as I can. I thought they would be more scared of us, um, but they did not care. They were just cruising the water, looking for food, um, just chilling, hanging out. But yeah, I got a lot of the long, the longest footage I got in this video is of these these turtles. He's just cruising around, I'm cruising around, looking for cool stuff. I mean, yummy stuff. I guess he's probably on the hunt, look for something to eat. Majestic turtle. And there's our master diver, our instructor. He got a good picture of me there. Yeah, and they did not care about us at all. I, I got an even closer up shot of a different turtle later on. Okay, and that is a sea slug. If you've never seen a sea slug, they looked like a real slug, but bigger. Um, this girl kept swimming underneath me, and I'm booking it over to this turtle. I think this is the one I get a really close-up shot of this guy. He was kind of showing off for me. Look, there's another turtle in the shot, too. She's trying to get a, I think she's trying to get a selfie with the turtle, and he's like, whoa, watch out. He's like, I'm looking for food. Get out of my way. Uh, that's the line from, I think, the boat. But yeah, look, he let me swim right up on him. Didn't even care that I was there. Maybe they did. He's like, you guys are crowding me. I gotta get out of here. But yeah, it's the closest I've ever been to a sea turtle before. And he was just like, he just kept looking down. He like he was looking for somewhere, something. There's another one we got where he's just kind of lounging underneath a coral. Got some cool close-up shots. He's going up for air. I think, yeah, they go up for air. And this is just a cool, a really big school of fish. They're all kind of moving in the same direction. Uh, these little guys were just huddled around this coral. I thought it was cool. Can't really see the color, but they got like a white and blue spot on them. Oh, here's the turtle. He was just resting. I think he was just taking a little rest. Maybe he's overwhelmed with all the pictures being taken of him. Yeah, he was just resting under that coral. They were really chill. 
So, but, and there's that girl again. So keep, she kept swimming under me the whole freaking dive. Swimming right underneath me. All right, here's the cool uh, clown fish I got. He wasn't that shy. He was more like, hey, you want some of this? I got eggs in here. And another, another cinematic shot of a turtle silhouette. And uh, this was just a school of fish. They were all kind of going one way, and all of a sudden they just like changed direction and started swimming right underneath me. And with another school of fish in the background. It's just like some kind of grouper fish, I think. I was trying to see how close I can get to them. They were fast. Oh yeah, so here's a sea snake. I've never seen a sne sea snake before. I'm used to the snakes in Nevada, so I was kind of afraid to get too close to them, but then I ended up getting really close to another sea snake, but that one looked a little... So here, here's the other sea snake I got. Um, he kind of swam back at me. I was kind of afraid he was going to to bite me or something, but they were not really wor too worried about us. They were just kind of like on the move, like he was looking for something specific and couldn't find it. But yeah, it was like an eel slash snake. We got some good eel pictures later on too. So majestic just moving through the water like that. I think she didn't see it and so I got scared. Uh, here's a like a baby. We end up seeing a bigger one of these, but he's like a baby little uh, spotted eel. And that guy just got right up in his face. He looked like he wanted to fight it. Like he wanted to fight the camera. He saw, I think he saw his reflection of the video and he thought it was like another eel. And then these were cool. These were like these neon blue fish and they were just like huddling in this coral, kind of using it for safety. And then there's even these tinier, it must be like the baby versions of them. I don't know if you can really see it, but, and here's the bigger one. This guy was big. He got right up on him, but I was afraid like, I seen them attack, well, at least the moray eels, they attack people. So I was afraid to get too close. I didn't want it to get to attack me. But, yeah, he was pretty cool and, and big, too. All right, and that's the end of the video. I hope you're enjoying my adventures. I'm trying to get better at editing these YouTube videos. I know they're not very exciting. But like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next adventure.